This is the story of an idea that came about 40 years ago, based on the belief that there was room for a project that would take data and transform it into solutions. It was a Friday on the 6th of June, 1980. A company called Sherved Engineering was founded in Padua. Four years later, in 1984, it would simply become engineering. From a historical and political point of view, those were not easy years in Italy and the world. The bad things seemed to outnumber the good. But we have never forgotten the good things. Like the Blues Brothers at the cinema, or the future imagined by E.T.'s finger. However, this story is different. It is the story of people who, working with data, have imagined the future and not science fiction. It is also a story in which we look forward rather than backwards. Because the concept of once upon a time is good for fairy tales, but not for ideas that are to become real, concrete, and reliable. When engineering opened its first research center in 1987, it was not a fairy tale, but the ability of imagining the future and making it real. The same happened in 1993, when the Della Valley Residential Academy came into being. A campus school that would serve to ensure that the talent of those who attended could develop, be nurtured and grow, day after day. This is because solid knowledge is needed to develop the solutions the market is waiting for. It is quite simply because the world needs such answers. This is the story of people who seek out and find those answers, and do so by choosing a path that is not always the most convenient and direct, but the most effective and insightful. This is the story of days that will never be forgotten like December 12, 2000, while the ballots of one of the most controversial presidential elections were being counted and recounted in the US, while Italians were no longer eating steak for fear of mad cow disease, the bell rang for engineering to be listed on the Milan Stock Exchange. 20 years after its foundation, this is a great achievement. Actually, no, it's just the beginning. Like all great stories, this one is made up of many small threads that meet and join together to create solid knots from which to start over again, always. Just as in the times throughout the last 40 years, when business needs were met over and over again by new technologies, generating new visions, new actions, and new opportunities, breaking down walls and expanding borders. This, because it is possible to start in Padua in 1980 and travel to Brazil, Serbia, Belgium, Germany, Spain, the Czech Republic, the United States, and Mexico. It's because you can start with services for the public administration and go on to open up new markets through strategic acquisitions. Healthcare in 2001, energy and utilities in 2004, followed by finance in 2005, and then gradually expanding into transport, industry, telco and media, retail, and even augmented cities. To support its growing activities, fundamental sites such as the data centers in Pont San Martin and Vicenza were acquired. This is the story of 40 years spent in a leading role with the innate ability to adapt. In fact, only those who know how to evolve never stop and constantly look for new frontiers. Today, that frontier is called digital transformation. It is a new world where business and technology meet, transforming the way we live and work and producing new founding values capable of generating digital ecosystems. It is those new digital ecosystems that are putting data at the center of everything and doing so by using the knowledge of all business and technology platforms. And it is precisely on those platforms that the most important game is being played. To perform at our best in this game, we have trained, invested, and become the greatest teammates for our partners. We have run and passed the ball at the right time, building shared actions. And those actions have led to the final goal, generating co-designed composable solutions. This is the story of a challenge launched by a group of managers 40 years ago. Thanks to their spirit, there have been three tutelary deities in the plot of this story. Antio, Limite, and Kairos. As a constant reminder that we will be strong, 
our feet firmly planted on the ground, but always looking ahead and never backing down with a keen eye on the opportunities of the moment. We started by managing data, transforming projects into solutions, constantly exploring, learning, and teaching. But technology alone was not enough, so we dug deeper and verticalized into all markets. We expanded worldwide, and the latest frontier today is digital. This is where we continue to explore, invest, and grow. In these 40 years, we have worked to improve the world in which we live and work in, trying to keep the devil in the minority and always pushing forward, all different and all united, as Michele Chinalia recalls. All united to reinvent ourselves continuously, to evolve every day, to innovate forever. This is the story of 40 years. This is the story of our life. I am engineering. Eu sou engineering. I am engineering. Yes, I'm engineering. I am engineering. Yes, I'm engineering. I am engineering. Eu sou engineering. We are engineering.